So today's video is going to be a full face of Glossier makeup. I asked you guys in my most recent full face of one brand kind of video where I did a full face of Thrive Cosmetics, what you wanted to see next, and so many of you guys were telling me that you wanted to see a full face of Glossier makeup. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. Excuse my hair, by the way. Um, I'm having one of those days where it's a really, really, really bad hair day, but I didn't have time to do it before this video, and so I just picked it up in a ponytail, and I'm just hoping for the best, you know? Every time I wear my hair like this, I think of Carmen from It Takes Two. Did you guys ever watch It Takes Two? I had a really, really, really big Mary Kay Nashley obsession back in the day. I was like the Olsen Twins number one fan. One of my favorite movies is It Takes Two, and one of the little girls in the camp is Carmen, and she has like really curly hair, and it's always up in a ponytail. And every time I do my hair like this, where I just pick up my hair and don't do much else, I always think of Carmen. Anyway, enough about that. So whenever you order stuff from the Glossier website, it always comes in like this really cute pink bubble mailer bag thing. And I always like keeping these bags to take with me places. I mean, I always travel with my travel makeup bag, but this is really good to like keep your toiletries in here so I don't like spill and get everywhere. And since it's like bubbly, it's very protective. I don't know, I like these bags. So I put everything in this bag because I did have to pick up a couple of things to complete a full face. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and get started on my brows. Glossier has a brow product that's called the Boy Brow. It's very similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow. I feel like the Glossier Boy Brow came out first. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm making that up. But it's just one of these like tinted fiber brow gels that's supposed to give you like the feathery brow look while adding little fibers and giving your brow a more fuller brow look. Like giving the illusion of fuller brows. And uh, I don't love this. I mean, I've used it in the past and I really enjoyed it, but I like a more sculpted brow. I like to really fill in the brows with a brow whiz or brow pencil. The thing with Glossier is that this brand is more of a beauty enhancer. It's kind of like the girl next door kind of makeup. It doesn't have too much coverage. It's not too glam. It's more of like the natural makeup, which on day to day is something I really prefer. Oh my gosh, my brows look crazy. See, I don't have like naturally full brows. Like they're kind of bald and I always have to go in with a brow whiz before I go in with something like this, but just so you can see, if you already have really pretty full brows, this would be like all you need. I definitely have to do my brows. Look at this, they look crazy. They're so long, I haven't done them in forever. Okay, so I am gonna take a little bit of my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I'm just gonna fill in those gaps. I'm only gonna fill in a little bit of this because I do want a more natural brow look today. We're going for a very natch look all around, you will see. <laughs> Problem with my brows is, since I haven't done them in like a trillion years, they are so uneven. They're not sisters, they're not cousins, they're not even related, to be honest. Okay, I feel like that gave me a little bit of shape. I don't want to make them too dark or anything. So now I'm going to go back into the boy brow and just add a little bit more. You know what, this is as good as it's gonna get, all right? Okay, so like I said, this isn't my favorite product, but I can see why so many people love it. And actually now looking at my brows, like if I do use it in conjunction with a brow pencil, I do really like it. And it does keep your brows in place all day. It gives you that nice, bold, feathery look. But it's just, again, a little bit more natural. So if that's what you're looking for, I say go for it. If you like like Instagram brows, you might like that just as like a finishing touch, but not on its own. Okay, so for a primer, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Priming moisturizer I used to love this so much and then I got rid of it in like a priming declutter thing and then when this video got oh whoa, whoa, whoa. when this video got so requested I was like oh man I gotta buy that priming moisturizer again because I didn't have it and honestly when I got rid of it I remember getting rid of it because I was breaking out and I think this is the guy that was breaking me out but you know skin changes second chances in life are important so here we are it reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Hangover RX primer, but I actually like this one a little bit more in terms of consistency and texture. But like I said, I thought it was breaking me out and the Too Faced one does not. So, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna start using this again because I really, really loved it back in the day. It gives your skin a very, very moisturized feeling. If you have dry skin, you will really like it. And then I'm actually gonna go in with another product on top of that before I go in with my skin tint. This is the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This is SPF 35. This is actually a 
really, really nice daily sunscreen because it just works so well underneath your makeup. So if you're someone who's really out in the sun all the time and your foundation doesn't have SPF in it, this is a really, really nice SPF. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my hands and I'm just going to apply that directly on top of this primer. And the back of the bottle does say, apply over your entire face after the priming moisturizer and before the perfecting skin tint. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going in with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is in the shade medium. This is pretty much the most sheer coverage you will ever find in a product. <laughs> I've used this a few times in my life and I don't exactly remember how I feel about it. I just remember thinking it was so sheer that I didn't think it was worth it. Like the coverage on this is, like it gives you the bare, minimum folks like the bare minimum um, it really does just tint the skin it just gives you a nice little tint and that's about it so I like using it with something like this like a flat top kabuki just to give myself the most coverage I can get this is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe JH03 brush. I'm just gonna start off in little sections and build this up little by little. Every time a subscriber asks me about this skin tint, they ask me to compare it to the Makeup Forever face and body foundation that I love so much. And I don't think they're similar at all. I don't think this is anything like the MAC face and body either. I think the face and body foundations have more coverage than this and you can build up the face and body foundations. Like you can add two or three layers and you can build that up. You can even build that up to full coverage, believe it or not. You just have to do like four, four or five layers, but it never gets cakey, so that's why I love it. This, you can build it up as well. You can sit here and do a few layers and you will get some coverage, but it is very, very sheer. But again, for those of you with really, really nice skin, if you don't have a lot of acne or if you're very young and just starting into makeup and you wanna get something that's just gonna maybe even out the skin tone, give you a nice base for products to put on top, but you don't really want any coverage, this might be for you. Just in general, I do not think the skin tint is where it's at. They just have other products that are a lot better in my opinion. This doesn't do enough for me, but I know so many people who love and adore this, so okay, I'm gonna give myself another little layer. Okay, after applying two or three layers, I do feel like I got a very, very light coverage. Like very, very, very light, but I see it. I look a little bit less red. My skin overall just looks a, a bit more even. I mean, it, it is what it is, you know? Okay, for concealer though, I do absolutely love the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I used to rave about this. I have the shades Light and Medium. This is just such a great concealer. It gives you really, really amazing coverage. It does have quite the dewy finish, so if you do not like that, you will not like these concealers, but it just makes your skin look so fresh, awake, and dewy. It just brightens up the under eyes, and I really, really like these. I'm gonna take the shade Light underneath my eyes on this deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going in first with this brush and then I will blend it in with another brush, but I'm just laying down the product with this one. I just recently got this um, Real Techniques set at Ulta. It's all of their original amazing brushes that I love and adore, but they kind of look a little bit different. Like this is the blush brush and it's a lot thinner than my brush blush. Brush, blush, brush. I know the, the barrels are different. They're like limited edition for holiday, but even the brush feels a little bit different. And same goes for this. This is the expert face brush. I don't know, but something feels different. Do people still really, really love Real Techniques? I know I do. I'm dying to know, do you guys still use Real Techniques? Do you love Real Techniques? I don't hear people talking about them that much anymore. It makes me sad. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here where I need the most coverage. I just love how dewy and fresh this makes the skin look. A lot of the times I would just take the shade medium and use Use this as like a spa concealer all over my face and it would give my face such a beautiful dewy effect I wouldn't even put anything on my face just a little bit of light under the eyes and medium on the rest of my face and it just looked so beautiful I would do that when I was a little bit more tan now medium is a little bit dark for me but I'm gonna take a little bit of the medium shade and I'm gonna put it in areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. So around my nose and in between my brows here. I'm actually gonna put some on my nose, my chin. Okay, and to set all of that, I'm gonna use one of my favorite Glossier products ever. Definitely top five in my opinion, and that is the Wowder. This is their powder, and I have the shade Light Medium, which is a little bit too dark for underneath the eyes. When I purchased this, I was a bit tanner, so I have a feeling this might darken up my under eye, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. Oh no, it didn't darken it up too much. 
Oh, I love this powder, it's so good. I'm just gonna add that to everywhere I put the concealer, even though I didn't put any concealer on my lids. I'm gonna prime my lids with something, that's fine. And then just everywhere else I put the concealer. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna take a little bit of my P. Louise makeup base and I'm gonna prime my lids. Glossier doesn't have an eyeshadow primer, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Even though we are about to put the most minimal product ever on our lids, I just wanna add a little bit of something to help bring out what we're about to put down. Glossier has these um, lid stars that look like this. The packaging is really, really cute, but I have come to the conclusion that I don't, I don't like these. This is really the only eye product they have. They don't really have eyeshadows or anything like that, at least not yet. And I've tried a few shades of these and every single one that I try, I don't love. The only one I haven't tried yet is Cub and we're about to put this on our entire eye. And then I also have the shade Slip, which I've used before. Not my favorite. They're just a little bit too sheer. They don't give me enough on the lids. And I know, I know, it's Glossier. That's like their forte, that's their thing. But to me, it's not worth the money if I'm not gonna see that much on my lid, you know? So I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Slip. I'm gonna add that to my inner corners, like the inner half of my eye and tap it out with my finger. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put down an eyeshadow primer. Does, does this like work better on no primer? Like. Do you see what I mean? They're just so sheer to begin with, you know? Like you tap it out with your finger and it's like, oh, that's gone. That was like so pointless to me. Forget about that. I'm gonna go in with the shade Cub and see if this one gives me a little bit more. You know what it is? They're just so oily. I just don't like them. I even try mixing it up in here to see if maybe I'm just getting the oily parts. Maybe you gotta shake it up, mix it up, but no. I try doing that, I try doing that, but all I get is this sheer, semi-oily sheen. And maybe this is the kind of look you're you're going for, you know? This barely there look. I know that some of you guys like are into this, for sure, for sure. But for me, I just have other products in my collection that I use in this way where it's just like a one and done eyeshadow look, but that still give me more than this. And I just don't like the formula on this. I don't like these. I don't like these at all. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take my Hourglass Unlocked palette and I'm just gonna add the bronzer in my crease a little bit. I know this is cheating, but I just wanna add a little bit of color in the crease. And then I'm gonna add that bronzer to my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Halo Scope. This is a cream highlight, which I'm gonna use on my face in just a second, but I am gonna take a little bit of this to use as my brow bone highlight and on my inner corners as well. For mascara, I'm going in with a brand new Glossier product I've never tried out. This is their Lash Slick. And based off of the whole Glossier vibe, I have a feeling this might be a very sheer mascara, but I don't wanna misjudge it, so let's just try it out. Okay, not bad actually. I expected a little bit less. <laughs> it does give you like a wispy effect, like a really soft romantic wispy effect, which I do really like. Let me add another coat, see how it builds. I like it. I really like this. It's not super voluminous. It doesn't make your lashes look too thick, but I like it. Okay, so for the rest of the face, Glossier doesn't really have a bronzer. They just have these amazing, amazing cloud paints. These are their blushes. And I've spoken about these before. I recently included these in my favorite cream products video. These are some of the best cream blushes I have ever used. If you're gonna try out something from Glossier, oh my gosh. Check out the powder and check out these cloud paints. They're unreal. So let's see. Since I have such a bold eye look today, what blush should I go in with? I think I'm gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna take Puff and Dusk because I like Puff because it's like pink and it matches, but I feel like it might be too pink. So I wanna mix in a little bit of Dusk. That's what I love about these. They're just so customizable. So I'm gonna take some, what did I say with? Puff, like a powder puff or like a power puff girl. I like that name, Puff, it's cute. And then let's take some Dusk. Um, mix these two colors. Ooh, they're very, very pretty. I think I might have mixed in too much dusk. So I'm gonna take some more puff. <laughs> I mean, when you mix them together, you do waste a lot of product, but don't be a savage like me and 
pour so much on the back of your hand. When you mix them, use very little. This created such a pretty pinky nude. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gorgeous. It's a lot of it, but it's gorgeous. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics number 132 airbrush flawless complexion brush. I'm just gonna go into this and then tap some off. I always get confused when I apply blush before my bronzer. It's like my brain doesn't understand that order. Okay, so this is the blush on my cheeks, really soft and pinky and romantic. And it just gives you such a like very, very subtle glow to the cheeks. It doesn't have a sheen in it, it's like a matte blush, but because it is a cream it gives like a very subtle glow and I love it okay so I am gonna add a little bit of this highlight this is the halo scope highlight I used on my eyes earlier and I don't love this this is a cream highlight but for me it just doesn't give me enough sheeniness it's more glossy than anything it doesn't really give me that much of a sheen and it kind of applies a little bit thick I find that sometimes it'll disrupt my makeup underneath and it's just I don't know it's not my favorite. It looks really pretty. Don't get me wrong. I just have a lot more highlights in my collection that I like more than this. So it just it doesn't do it for me. Not my favorite Glossier product. If you want that no makeup makeup look where you want a little bit of highlight that's really going to be just like a, the, the bare minimum glow but look very natural, then you might really like that. Okay, uh, really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my face makeup because Glossier doesn't have bronzer and all that like I said. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this bronzer and a little bit of the highlight from the Unlocked palette. And I'm going to be using the Glossier brush that comes with the water. Well, it doesn't come with the water, but you can buy it with the water. And I love this brush. It's awesome for contouring, for powder. It's just so soft. Obsessed. The more that I look at my skin with this damn thing on it, the more that I like it. <laughs> like I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, it does make my skin look dewy though. This is a very wet finish. It just doesn't give you like a sheen. You know what I mean? It gives you like a gloss. So if that's what you're into, and sometimes I am, I just never reach for this. Like I just feel like I have others I like more. I don't know. Okay, so Glossier also has these really amazing little lipsticks. My favorite one is Leo, but I cannot find it anywhere. How many times do I say that in my videos? I can't find it. I was looking everywhere this morning for that damn Leo lipstick. I looked through like three of my purses. I cannot find it, but it's such a pretty deep nude. I love it. It's really similar to the ColourPop Blotted Lips if you've ever tried those out. It's just such a nice formula. I love it, but I cannot find it. So I am gonna go in with the Glossier Lip Gloss. This lip gloss is amazing. It's very, very juicy, very, very glossy. Gives you that like, mm, you know, so it's really, really nice. It reminds me of like the 90s. I just freaking love it. It makes your lips look wet like glass okay guys so that completes this video this was a full face using glossier makeup it is a very dewy minimal fresh kind of look that's pretty much what glossier is really about oh i also picked up i wanted to mention this also picked up their zit stick and i find that this thing is really really good you just like roll it on your zits and i find that the next day my zits do look a lot smaller so i have really been liking this but yeah i really really like glossier there are a few things i don't like like i do not like these this is pretty, but not my favorite. I don't think it's worth the money. But things that are worth the money that I absolutely recommend, the stretch concealer, the Wowder. This SPF is great. I really, really love this freaking primer, and I love Obsess over their cloud paints. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you like from this brand, what you don't like from this brand. Let me know your thoughts about anything Glossier in the comments below. What is the next one brand tutorial? Which brand do you wanna see me tackle next? So let me know in the comments below. But yeah guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Maybe we'll meet at a bar. He'll drive the funky car. Okay, so for our... <laughs> Maybe we'll meet at a club. So deeply in love. It's not super volumizing. Volumizing. Oh, okay. <laughs>